All right, man. We're doing a Friday night after show because fucking Jerry's got to work on Saturday, but he's not. I do not have to work. So we might do another after show tomorrow. I was was, was supposed to work, but I've said, fuck that. I'm calling in. I'm taking a personal day. I got so much shit from BS that we didn't get through. And I, I, it's, but, but before we get to that, I think Mooger Fuger is the only one in our groups that fucking like the new Motley Crue song. What the fuck <laughs> is wrong with you, Mooger? He was, getting pre- he, was getting, he was getting pretty defensive, too. He right? was. He was. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Hey. Uh, the song in in and of itself is not a bad song. <laughs> um, it's very, it's very, very wall of sound. It's very modern sounding. It and you have, yeah, man, you have Vince Neil singing. So what? You, that is takes it down from there. But I was reading it was AI. It the AI bullshit is fucking fake news. They recorded the shit, and John Five recorded his shit, and it is okay, man. It every I listened to it at six fifteen this morning. Everyone I, else was fucking asleep. Goddamn knows you are Mike, Mark, Mark. Mike. Well, I, I got up. I got up at five thirty, and I did listen to it at seven a.m. in the morning. Now, yeah, and that was about ten o'clock my time. Yeah. So I'd already, damn, I was already thinking about it. It's lunch. not my fault I'm in a lower time zone. Damn. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, man. I'm but, I, I, but, I, I, but, no, first but... off, fucking everyone, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's okay. The song is okay. I did not say I loved it. I said I like You were defensive about it, though. Haters are going to hate, you know, and stuff like that. Because everyone was just fucking waiting, man. Everyone was just waiting. Everyone was just like, let's go, man. Let's go. Because they had a bad track record. No, they didn't give a shit if it was the best song ever fucking released. They were going to fucking hate it. They were going to be like, let's go, let's go. Boom! It's out. Hey, 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 hey! That's hey, exactly hey, hey, Mooger, what it was. Mooger, I, I actually beat you on listening to that song. I did listen to it after we recorded the BS sessions, and I did post it in our groups. So there you go. I did hear it, but then I said I'm going to give it another chance to listen it into a real car stereo system on the way to work. So I did stream it, and I go, this is just as worse as I thought it was. It was fucking brick wall. <laughs> it was brick wall to the fuck, and I made a video of it, and I think it got over 700 views of me doing a one-minute fucking trash talking about Motley Crue's new song. It fucking sucks. The best dogs of war is fucking uh, Pink Floyd. It was no way this there. was ever going to be loved by anybody. Well, I told you. Dude, they can write Stairway to Heaven now. Nobody's going to like it. It's Dude, just the way, I, you know, what did I tell you, Mooger? I said I was hoping because you know Don Dawkins sounds like shit now. No, you just were like hoping for a 1994 Karabi kind of sounding shit, and it's never going to happen. I was hoping that it would be like the new Dawkins album, dude. This one right here. It's a great That's amazing. Album. That's a great record. Yeah. Is 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 that song better than any song off of here? Oh God, no. Thank you. No. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. you didn't ask you didn't ask me that uh, mark well i, I mean, told you i was hoping it, it would be like the new dog yeah you were hoping it was going to be so was i but i also listened to it at 6 15 this morning and i was like it's not it's not that bad it's okay it's a wall of sound no mix no separation modern new metal kind of sound why would they put out anything else? Why, who other fucking than this? produced it? Who produced who, it? Why would they put out anything other than this? Bob fucking yes. Rock produced why it. Why would they put out anything other than this? Have you they ever need I, to do modern and they are doing but modern? They could do modern but have fidelity with it, okay? The thing Rock. is, Bob fucking Rock. Produced this album, 
He is fucking yeah, great on Fidelity. He did fucking... the Colt. He did Metallica. Right. Saint Anger sucks, Ooh, by the way. The only bad no, album. Now this is the second bad album he's done. Is in his back pocket, dude. Big there was no. Is in his back Tommy pocket. Lee sounded like shit on that new song. It doesn't even sound like a drum. It sounds like a drum machine. It does. It's horrible. Yeah. It's not. Hey, dude, hey. fucking amazing. Oh, two things, two things, two things, guys. The new Dokken album. Dokken is a great studio band. Sorry, ass band live in concert. I'm sorry. I've seen them too many times. They suck live. And that Motley Crew, I fuck Motley Crew. They will not be <laughs> Motley Crew without Mick Mars. I don't give a shit who they got playing guitar. They're overdubbing live now. They can fuck off as far as I'm concerned. And I read a thing that there was a there was the whole album was composed by AI. I don't know if that was satirical, but it sounds like it to me. It sounds like lazy fucking shit. Jerry, did you hear it? I first heard it um, just on my phone, right? And I'm like, well, the music doesn't sound bad, but I did notice that Vince Neil's voice sounded like total fucking dog shit. But then I listened to it on the headphones. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I actually said I liked the music on this. God awful, man. I mean, look, look, look. Molly Crew, those guys don't give a fuck what I think. But uh, and what they want to do with their own music, they want to go their way. They're going now. More power to you. But you know, thanks for the great albums he did in the past. You know, yep. and good luck in the future. You know, I'll, I'll take yeah. the high road there. But uh, this song blew, in my opinion. Sorry, I mean, dude, dude, Scribble came up with the best answer on my video. Uh, I put up on Freeform Rock Podcast YouTube. Check it out. Uh, I put up quick, well, like quick minute, quick thoughts there almost every day. But he said, New Metal Motley Crew. And I go, fuck! He hit the nail on the head. That's what Mooger just said. No, he it didn't say new metal. metal. He said it was modern. Modern. Oh, well, no, I said it was modern metal. It's new metal. It's, new new me metal. it's death tone shit. It's not new metal. It's new metal. What the fuck is ah modern metal, new metal, old metal. What the fuck? Metal, 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 new metal, whatever, man. <laughs> metal, metal, new metal. This, metal. this is an attempt to like we're, we're gonna like slide into the big machine which they have signed with. And we're gonna slide into there, and and we're gonna become like another wall of sound for the TikTokers and the. The Twitters and the whatever the fuckers you call the fucking social media people, and they they have to if they're gonna try to survive, they're going to have to do the shit. I don't hate the song because John Five put a great riff to it, and he put Fuck some him. amazing solos to it. Vince Amen. Neal cannot sing, and he will not sing. And he, I, I can believe that the Vince Neal vocal was AI. Definitely, I was just about ready to fucking say that. You're right, one hundred percent. They oh, said it was oh, AI. His Vince vocal Neal AI. can sound that horrible. AI. Fuck AI. I mean, man. every every it's a good take a piss song, you know. That's all I got to say about it, you know. Every yeah, every, every... I, I, I never want to hear it. It's again. a mess song to me, but when I six fifteen, I got up my I job all the lights in the place were out. I turned on my lamp, and I was like, I'm gonna listen to the song, and it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It was it a great song? No. But was it a bad song? I don't think so. It was really bad, Booger. I, I think I, I'd actually rather listen to Poison, actually. But that's thank you. Take on it. Yeah, no, I'll, 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 I'll be honest. Poison, Poison, Poison just have one good song, something to believe in. I'll give oh, them that. God, no. Song. God, no. You know what? I'm just doing a deep take on these guys. Anybody like Filter? I love Filter. Filter I haven't heard those. I haven't heard these guys in like 20 years, and I, I really wasn't a huge fan of them, but I, I don't know. I'm getting older or something. I don't know, but I actually, I actually enjoyed these. Out CDs. I was yeah, into was that really band good. from the first fucking album, dude. Hey, man, I shot. I fucking love Filter. 
I love fucking Filter. I fucking love the guy's voice. His ear candy. The bass lines they do on the fucking albums are fucking great. Even Take a Picture, you know, you, there's a story, you know, that take that song, Take a Picture? He yeah. was drunk on a fucking airplane and he told the, he said, you want to take a picture? You want to remember me drunk? Take a picture, bitch. <laughs> fucking, I love fucking, he's got an attitude. I am not with that fucker in politically, politically at all, but he is a fucking makes good music. And that new shit they've been putting out is really good too. I, oh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta ask Gary. Gary, you you don't like Fallen Angel by Poison? Oh Jesus Christ! Sorry, I don't mean to blast <laughs> you guys. I I know y'all are religious, but oh, you don't what like a nothing but a good time. Here's the toast to all of us. Boy, talk about a rip off. Ace hot Freely every show. day. <laughs> Look, uh, if only the good life was such a crime. Oh, they put me no away. Day, let me write a good song. Do you? Yeah. Um, Oh God! I love you, Aaron Camaro. <laughs> we are Poison Brothers. We'll never write a good song. Ride the wind. We don't never have come any back until I touch the man. Boy, that's another terrible song. I oh, love the fucking song. But let's get on to some no, Sebastian Bach on Skid Row, man. <laughs> this is something I held back from, and Eric would have went off this on this for hours, so I didn't bring it up. There's a whole narrative. This is what Sebastian Bach said about Skid Row not getting back together. There's a whole narrative that we didn't get along or they don't want to get in the same room as me, Bach noted. There's stuff that I have found out recently on the business side. I can tell you, tell the planet Earth has nothing to do with what happened in 96 or me being wild or us not getting along. Instead, Bach insisted the problem is more logistic than personal. Mooger. Yes. Yes what? <laughs> what are we talking about? What a bunch of fucking bullshit. He's so full of fucking shit. You ever hear Rachel and fucking uh, uh, Snake talk about up. him? I love it. They can't fucking stand that fucker, dude. He's so full of shit. His eyes are brown. His eyes are brown. No, he said that it has nothing to do with them getting along, Sebastian Bach and Skid Row, why he is not in a band. It's all about logistics. Dude, they don't want to be in the same room with that fucking guy. That's dude. what they he said. Them. It's bullshit. Jerry, said, you, you got a very good point, man, because they're like, I don't care what amount of money we owe you. We're not going to get in the same room. Exactly. And you know what? You know, Sebastian Bach's not bad on his own. He, let them both fucking do that their own news, thing. Those three solo tracks he's released are fucking amazing. I mean, you know, he's, he's he's a fucking loose cannon, dude. He always has been, dude. He needs to go back to the fucking Gilmore Girls, man, where he can just chill. You know? uh, you watch, <laughs> how did you know he said the Gilmore Girls? I, I told had... you that. My sister loved that show, and I had to go over her house all the time and fucking watch it. The fun, fucked up part about it is you watch enough of something, Let's you start actually kind of getting into it. Yeah. Uh, I I watched nine zero two one zero because my friend. Liked well, I wasn't it. that bad. I wasn't that bad. No, she she liked it. I watched it. And you know what? I didn't like it. I think it was Jenny <laughs> Garth. I thought I had a crush on Jenny. Jenny Garth, Garth was, was ugly. Yeah. She had that fucking small chin. I would rather go for Shannon Dordery. Oh, get the fuck out! You know, Jesus. Chart well, uh, Ali, what what's that? Alyssa Milano. Fuck, I'd fuck Alyssa Milano. Yeah. I know all you motherfuckers would fuck Alyssa Milano. I'd do Tori Spelling. Oh, with her face. Uh, she only got the, her fame because of her old man or grandpa, whatever. Yeah, but she no Aaron she Spelling. Aaron, Aaron, body, Spelling Aaron yeah. Spelling produced uh, Dynasty and shit. I don't know, her face kind of looked like a pelican, man. I don't it know. Did. There's something it weird horrible. about her face. Is but, your uh, wife you put, feeding you hey, 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 hey. Yeah, Jerry, Jerry, you put a flag over her face and go to town. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Jenna. Uh, is it, hey. Hi. I, hi. Sorry. We're being obnoxious. I uh, she can't hear us. Uh, he's got the hear? headphones. <laughs> Hi, Jenna. All right. All right, shit. But what do you guys think about uh, Jimmy Page said maybe there will be an expanded version of his album with David Coverdale? Cool. 
He can release Coverdale, anything he wants, Coverdale, and I'll buy it. Coverdale can't sing anymore. No, but the Coverdale Everybody Page album, they have like old tr like stuff they recorded that they didn't release. I'm all for oh, it. Oh, okay. The Coverdale I love that Page album. album. Too. Everyone. You know, and and what do you think about that? Uh, Mooger, did you like the Coverdale Page album? Yeah. Hey, Absolutely hey. did love that record, man. I thought it was really good. I thought that Coverdale and Page were making new ground, man. I love it. And the fucking Robert Platt was sitting there being a Karen, giving them a dirty look. <laughs> But then let's get to one last thing and we'll get the fuck out of here, man. Uh, one of my You're not going to pass out tonight, are you? Are you? Hey, Mooger. You know, I, I get a... I passed out. I said I was done. No, I was still, you, I was you, still, were, you were flat out passed out. Last week's, like, after yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, I was. You know what? But you've done it more than I have. Dude, you guys have uh, been my saviors, man. You pulled me out. Yeah, but I, I'm just saying, but I said I'm out, and you said this won't be up for hours. Guess what? It was up an hour later. I took an hour <laughs> and out. I came back and put that shit up. I love you. Because I fucking work fucking my ass off for this podcast. Yes, you do. And I fucking, but what do you guys think about Sammy getting a star on a walk, rock and roll, on a walk, Hollywood Walk of Fame? Well deserved. About time. About time. And Jerry's sitting there going, fuck you guys. Sammy the sucks. Only one I want. Next. Sammy's the man. <laughs> Why? Do you don't think Sammy Hagar deserves a star in the rock and roll? On, not no, because what on the hell Hollywood. did he do to deserve it out in Hollywood? What the Dude, fuck he, he do sold multi-million dollar uh, albums, yeah, man. Yeah, okay, then put him in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame then. He is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with Van Halen. Oh, they actually put his sorry ass in there with him? They put he him and Michael oh. Anthony were the only ones who okay, showed up. Oh, that's right. I remember that now. But fuck And Sammy Velvet Hager. Revolver tried to do some Van Halen songs and they fucking hmm. jetted in the middle of it because they couldn't do it. He was mean. You you don't remember Velvet Revolver tried to and they left in the middle of a song and just took off on the stage? <laughs> no, I can't I can't stand Sammy Hagar, dude. So more power to you if you like him. I love Sammy, dude. I don't. Why, why is you, Sammy so bad to you? Why is Sammy he's so fucking, bad? Because his shitty Van Halen albums. I don't mind some of his solo stuff and Montrose stuff, but his Van Halen stuff is a trick. Why are you blaming Sammy for those shitty Van Halen? I albums? do blame Eddie for it too, but Sammy just neutered it even more. How? And then the way you, and the way he wrote me. No, 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 no. Hold on, it's my turn. You had your time. And the way he's acting lately, the last couple of years, he is so full of shit and full of himself. That's the, and you even agree with me on that, dude. So, Oh, I do. He needs to shut the fuck up. I mean, it, it's supposedly he's been asked by every freaking band in the world to be I'm the singer. Like, I'm like... Ed, no, 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 I'm no, no, like, no, 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 no Especially about the human beings there when he's like, so he wanted he wanted a rest or whatever. He is so full of shit because I remember him wanting to say he wanted to keep going, keep touring, blah blah blah. I remember the interview. It, you can fucking find it on YouTube if you look hard enough. The dude lies tell about me, everything. Tell me, is this because you have a love towards David Lee Roth? No, nothing to do with that. It, you know, David Lee Roth is awful now, terrible. I, I'll admit, Sammy's voice yeah, he was is pretty up awful than David. today. And in the what? He was pretty awful in the day. Nah, I mean a different yeah, kind of truth. I I guess, thought, yeah, he was because a different a different kind of truth. Way sucked. more bad Roth than there was bad bad um, Hagar. <laughs> oh, we'll disagree. We'll agree to disagree on that. Uh, blasphemous. I, I love but fucking because Bay you can go me. fucking dive her down. That was fucking horrible. No, um, where have all the two no, times no gone? Little guitars? What the fuck are you talking about? And Balance is a legendary album. I oh, love dude. Balance. Woman Joel first. Fucking horrible. What? <laughs> what the fuck? You got Sammy Tards going against you now, man. Just... I'm not a Sammy Tard, dude. 
<laughs> but women, I got on Nate Atchison on the Freeform Rock Dude, podcast. The when fucking you, we were, covers album, fucking fucking that shit. Dude, Eddie didn't hey, like uh, In regards to in regards to Van Halen, what, hey, the one thing I can say about Hagar is Hagar brought a different dimension to the band, uh, an extra guitar. But where I think Van Halen went downhill, and I'm probably going to get a lot of shit on this, is when they introduced keyboards on the 1984 album is when Van Halen went downhill. Dude, there wasn't much keyboards on that album. There was like maybe two songs. There was like... Yeah, but, when, uh, but I'll be honest with you. When I, saw, when I saw Van Halen live on the 1984 tour here in Fort Wayne, and they played Jump... I wanted to see Eddie play the fucking guitar solo Everybody instead of having to listen to the keyboard. As they could. I, I'm just saying, on that 1984, you had Top Jimmy. What the fuck is that? Or that's, a, that's a bad Van Halen song. You man. had Hot for Teacher. Love that song. You had Panama. Love that song. So the only two songs I think that had keyboards was like the beginning of 1984, which is like an intro to Jump. I'll wait, and, and then they. Oh, I'll, I'm gonna say jump, and I'll wait. But the rest of the songs, fucking girl gone bad. They had no fucking keyboards on this shit, man. Two songs. Yeah, they should have never brought. They should have never brought the keyboards into Van Halen. I'm well, sorry. Fucking jump, oh, dude. Them fucking the fuck it, that song. What's this? I can't think of the name of this song right now. God, I'm losing my. You know that you want it. What's the name of that song? I was 1984. I got what you need. Yeah. No when the night is through, I love that song, man. What the fuck is the name of that song? You no, know, uh, hold on, man. I'll find it right now. <laughs> I have my, I have any. Nah, I'm losing. I'm, I'm fucking losing my memory, dude. It's going away. You're well, dude. I'm with. Oh, dude. I only have two Van Halen albums on my fucking phone. What the fuck is up with it? My, 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 I, I would have to admit my two favorite Van Halen songs ever: "A Simple Rhyme" from uh, "Women and Children First. Great fucking. And song. I love the, I, I love the song "Unchained." Yeah, yeah, I love dirty movies, man. I love fucking dirty movies. I love fucking Unchained. I, Fair Warning is my favorite album by them, by the way. Anyway, That's my least favorite. favorite. Drop oh, Dead God. Legs. That's the one I'm talking. Drop, Drop Dead, Dead Legs. Drop Dead Legs. Drop. You don't like Top Jimmy, Jerry? That's the only Van Halen song I really hate. Actually. Top Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. But that's a true story, though. You know, that would have been a perfect Hagar era tune to do live. Oh, man. fuck you. Like they say, <laughs> fucking Roth could have did fucking Summer Nights. You know? I do like to, I, actually, I could see the Roth doing Summer Nights. That's actually one of the songs I do like from the Hagar era. Summer Nights and I like uh, Cabo Wabo. It's the only two songs I really like from the Hagar era. Fuck. I love Black. And I love fucking every. Fuck. I love. All those fucking albums by Sammy. I saw Sammy Moore live with Van Halen and David. I did see David on the second tour uh, with a cool gang open. That was a fucking good fucking God, show. Then he got... Here we go, round, round, round. I fucking ah. love that song. That, I was so depressed when I saw that tour. And didn't have that I got depressed show. because of that song. Dude, Terrible. you got fucking uh, Pleasure Dome. Fucking uh, Judgment Day. That's all. Yeah. Play, play, play your Dome's week. Oh, fuck you. Pound cake. I mean, really? Come on. Yeah, yeah. Mark, you probably like Van Halen 3, that sorry ass fucking album. Yeah, I love Gary <laughs> Sharon, man. I'm, I'm not going to lie. That, that CD lasted five seconds in my car stereo and hey. I threw it out the fucking window. Hey, Chris. Yeah. I. I I agree with you on that. I bought that CD. I like that song without Terrible. you. No. I like the song without you. Terrible. And then I played it and Mooger left. Mooger's yeah. gone. Uh, he, he's been gone for a while. <laughs> he's been gone for a while, but I'll get him back on. Uh, but uh, I'm just going to say I listened to that CD 20 years later. Mm. Fire in the Hole. Ballad of the Bullet. I Never love again. fucking Gary Sharon. <laughs> I like fucking extreme. I just I like extreme. He's fine at extreme. Fucking star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Give me a fucking break. But well, fuck, man. <laughs> Booger Fugger is like fucked up, and I like Booger Fugger fucked up. I got a little bit of a buzz going. Yeah. I will man. not be silenced right now. <laughs> fucking tell me what you really feel, Jerry. Booger. Yeah, I, well, 
Mooger, Mooger was a good time last Friday when we were at the Journey oh, Total Coaster. That that was worth every want? dime we spent. What do you want? God damn it. God. Oh. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Mooger yeah. needs to go to sleep. I want you to go over there without being. I can't <laughs> edit the video. <laughs> Hey, hey, Mooger, tell, tell Jana I said hello. <laughs> He's muted right now because Jana's yelling at him. <laughs> hey, you got her all day tomorrow. We ain't doing shit tomorrow. Me and Jerry might do something tomorrow. I have no idea. But uh, like, let's get the fuck out of here, guys. Mooger, go to sleep. Later, guys. Thank you, Chris. Later, guys. You guys rock. Later, man. Off. Uh,